Hello, I'm Tudor. I am your host in a household in Gindar, Romania, a household that is in the middle of a forest in the Carpathian Mountains. I will try to present you the place so when you will uh, contemplate to volunteer with me, you will uh, make a more informed choice. As you can see, we are in the middle of a forest, but this is not a problem since this road gives us access to the next village, that is Gindar, that way. And it's always accessible by car, regardless of um, weather or um, season. By the side of the road, you have a very big parking area. And from this, we'll have to cross a uh, bridge. A bridge that will take you across the Solokma River. Which is a little stream that, let's say, separates us from the society. We also have a fence that usually keeps the dogs, not this uh, small guy. Come on, little guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keeps the dogs inside so they will not be able to scare people on the road. This, the building that you just saw, is the bathhouse that has on this side two toilets and here some sinks and on the other side some um, showers. And in the back we have some uh, bike parking area, bikes that you can use to either do some trails or to go to the village. In here, we have something like 200 plus square meter um, garden that volunteers that have been until, here, until now uh, managed to set up. And we have potatoes in here and an onion and uh, garlic and these are tomato plants and celery and pumpkin in the back many plants coming from the river you can either go to the house or um, to the root cellar or this area can also be used as uh, camping or a glamping tent that I will just show you in a moment. Going towards the tent, we have this area with uh, hammocks and a bench, and just up here in this little hill, we have uh, the tent. This doesn't look that big, but inside there are um, two mattresses that can easily accommodate two people. And I set it up here. For all this great view. And also for the sunrise that is coming from just behind this hill. Hello, Aaron. How are you? This is one of my beautiful dogs. This small guy, he's just a visitor and hopefully I will find a home for him. But this big guy has another four friends that protect me from wild animals because as you could see there is a lot of forest around us 
but I refuse to make um, closed fans. So basically, in the same way the dogs can go to the forest, the same way wild animals can get to us. But no worries, because these uh, huge guys, oh, this looks like a polar bear. Aren't you a polar bear? I don't know. So, they are very well, uh, very good at um, taking care of us. Oh, and another one. This is his mother. Bunashira. So, let me now present you the house. Somewhere in the background, there are the solar panels. And from uphill, we have water. This is a earth back house. Plastered with clay and painted with lime. That received a lot of decorations from people that are around here. And maybe, hopefully, from you. And inside, this is a living room that has in the middle a um, stove. Up there, through these stairs, there is a loft. In here, we have a big kitchen with a lot of countertop that must be finished. In here, there will be some shelves. Also on the walls will be some shelves, a fridge, a gas stove, a future to be wooden stove. And in here, we have a bathroom that is partially done that has a sink, compost toilet, and let's hope soon a functional water boiler. One bedroom for two people, and another bedroom for another two people. In here we have a lot of board games and books that you could read and who knows what else and this hammock i don't know how to call it and a lot of nature and let me see other decorations that must be finished or should be finished it, must not nothing. So, what I can offer you is exactly what you are hearing. Can you hear it? It's called silence. So, you'll get here a lot of quiet time. And if this is what you require, solitude in task that you'll be involved. If you search for teamwork, I can involve you in teamwork in regard to finishing the inside of the house or taking care of the garden or whatever. I don't know. When you live in a place like this, there are a lot of things that require attention and in, depending on your needs. And if this place resonates with you, I'll welcome you. And I hope you'll have an enjoyable time here. Bye.